This next exercise in the lower back mobility series is designed to help increase the side bending motion of the spine. Now, this is a motion that people don't really do much throughout the course of the day, uh, which is why it's a, probably a pretty good idea to actually do it. Um, because although side bending might not be directly involved in a lot of your movements, it's still involved in a lot of things that you might not consider, such as like being in the car and kind of reaching down for something, or if you are um, just even like reaching into your pocket, if you have tightness, or if you have restriction in the ability for your body to side bend, then that's what could actually be one of the causes of the pain. Um, and there's a lot of muscles in the side of our back here that often don't get enough attention or don't get enough, often get enough love and that we want to try to stretch and open up and try to restore those connections to those side muscles um, that if released can help reduce a lot of pain and a lot of tight, tightness. All right, so Twee here is just kind of sitting on, on, on her butt and what we're going to do is have her um, reach her left arm up towards the ceiling and we're gonna have her try to side bend and shift and stretch towards the side here. All right, what she should be looking for is a stretching sensation along her side here. All right, um, and also very important that she's trying to maintain the straightness and the integrity of her spine. Very often people that, when they try to do the stretch, they have a hard time holding the posture up so they start to almost like bend forward a little bit or the spine starts to twist into awkward different directions. But once you uh, pay attention to what your back is actually really trying to do, try to maintain the postural integrity of your spine and then just try to shift and try to side bend as far as you can. Twee, where do you feel the stretch? On the side of my back. On the side of your back here. Great, so that's exactly where you should be feeling a stretch. And as always, take a deep breath in, exhale, and then sit a little deeper into the stretch. I'm going to tweeze a little bit more mobile than what most people will probably do. And if you don't get as far as she does, that's okay. So long as you feel the stretch in the side area, and as long as you don't feel any pain or tightness or compression in the side that you're bending towards, then you're good. Take a deep breath in, exhale, good. And let's go ahead and just switch sides. Let's demonstrate the other side. So again, reaching her arm up towards the ceiling side bending as far as you can, maintaining as straight of a back as possible to make sure that she's not bending forward too far or she's not twisting or rotating because you want to keep this really strictly to a side bending stretch. Go and bend to the side towards me. Even if you can kind of shift weight into your side and try to shift a little bit more load into the ribs and into the, the side muscles here, that's what's going to really enhance the stretch and really enhance the, the opening of, of that you'll get in these muscles along the side here. As always, you let your breathing guide and drive you through the stretch. Deep breath in, exhale, push a little further, hold it there, three, two, one, come back up. All right, and that's it for the side bending side stretch.